Everyone, let's continue the education answering your questions in the comments. Dan Eaton says, hey, Lance, I enjoy every man's style of teaching. I, it's not so serious, but a way to learn important information. I'd like to see a video about picking the best sectors and how you approach trading earnings. So let's go ahead and reply. You got it. Boom, hit the reply. So make sure you leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So let's go ahead and pick a stock that I am looking at. And that is Carnival Cruise Lines. And then we'll look at the other stock in the uh, same sector, which would be Norwegian Cruise Lines. So the first thing I want to look at is I'm trading, let's say, Carnival Cruise Lines. What sector is it in? The transportation, specifically, though, other cruise liners. So names like CCL, RCL, and Norwegian are all going to kick up that earnings season, usually around the same time period. We see Carnival with a nice long signal, Norwegian or Car uh, Royal Caribbean with a nice long signal forming, and then Norwegian looking just a little bit of a slightly sloppier chart. Now for earnings though, we can never truly give, uh, uh, be reliant on the charts I should say, because anything can happen to earnings. At the end of the day, they are a binary event. So even though one cruise line might report good earnings, the other might not. And that goes the same, let's say we're doing shoe stocks like Nike reports this week, right? We can look at another shoemaker and say, okay, what did uh, Foot Locker do? Uh, looking you know, pretty good. What did Skechers do, right? Wow, had a huge move on earnings. What did The Onion do? Uh, had a nice move on earnings. So maybe Nike has a nice move on earnings or maybe they're taking market share from Nike, right? So we need to look at all those kind of situations, but let's first look at Carnival Cruise Lines. And when we look at earnings, by the way, we do have and I believe it is free. That's right. I said free, 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 free. So maybe they'll put this in the um, uh, in the uh, uh, comment section or the description below. We can see using my earnings indicator that we can see in Carnival Cruise Lines, we have the market makers expected move. So we actually have, and let's see if we have any flow on any cruise liners really quick. Looks like we have none. You, oh, we do have some uh, Royal Caribbean cruise uh, calls. Those are June 2025, a little long dated though, so a little uh, too far in my opinion. We do have in Carnival Cruise Lines, we have our bullish upside price target, which is 1735. Let's go ahead and write that down. That's according to the market makers, and that's what the earnings indicator uh, says. And then 15 bucks for a bearish downside target. Let's say I want to get bullish on CCL. I haven't done my full analysis yet. We usually do that right at the end of the day because you want to single out the earnings event. But let's go ahead and pull up the options. We want to make sure they make sense. Are we getting a good risk versus reward when we're trading earnings? So in CCL, let's say I'm bullish. I can look at the 17 calls. Wow, they're pretty much priced to perfection. 34 cents with the market makers move being 17.35. Huh, I like that. Why? Because cheap options, they're not overpriced. They're priced perfectly. Let's look at the 15 uh, puts, which is our bearish price target, and they're about 20 cents, which makes sense. Usually, you're going to see more aggressive uh, action in the puts because they act as hedges. So if I want to single out in CCL and trade it for earnings, I would pretty much just go with either the 16 and a half calls, or if I want to get super risky, the 17 calls. The 16 and a half calls are slightly out the money. The 17 calls, well, obviously, they're uh, pretty far out the money. But if I get a greater than expected market makers move, these calls can jolt up in price quicker. Let's say I didn't want to be uh, in a do or die scenario, right? I could, because let's say Carnival stays flat or misses earnings and the stock goes down, more than likely the calls are going to go to zero. I could play a correlated name in Norwegian Cruise Lines. And it looks like Norwegian Cruise Line doesn't report till July 12th expiration. You see the volatility go up in the options, then go down. Usually you could go on the company website under investor relations, or uh, let's see if we could just pull it out here. Maybe uh, we'll have it on the chart. No, we don't. So a little bit more time will be needed for Norwegian Cruise Lines. But if I want to play Carnival without being at a 50-50 scenario, what I could do is just go to uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines and do a similar option and similar expiration. So CCL should move Norwegian NCLH here. 
And with that, I could just go ahead and buy, let's say, the 17 calls or the 17 and a half calls. If Carnival, if Carnival Cruise Line goes up, Norwegian should go up too. Let's say Carnival stays flat or goes down a little bit. Well, no worries. Uh, these calls, they won't, they won't go to zero necessarily, even if Carnival goes down because Norwegian can still move to its own uh move to its own beat of its own drum, I should say. So we're not dead to our rights if we trade, let's say, uh, Norwegian. If we trade Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines, you can see here, uh, we should have earnings. It looks to be, what, next week, I want to say? Let's see if we can pull that out. Man, they are not giving us anything on, uh, on Thinkorswim with the earnings dates, I see, and the cruise liners. But it does look like Norwegian reports, oof, let's just go on a website and try to pull it up here because we do have a pretty large move in uh, Royal Caribbean this week, about $6, and volatility is pretty jacked till July 12. So it might be that same as uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines. Let's just go ahead and go to a free website. I have no affiliation with Finviz, but I do like using it usually to find some earnings events. Let's see when they say, if not, we might have to go to Investor Relations, April 28th. Uh, that is not going to work. Earnings date, let's just use, maybe they'll take us to Investor Relations, 725, so a long time away for Royal Caribbean, actually. And I think that is messed up because the implied volatility is there, but you could do the same. Uh, pretty much with Royal Caribbean, same with Carnival. Those are the names upcoming this week on earnings. Just know when you do trade earnings, though, it doesn't matter what the chart says. The CEO could say anything at any point and basically ruin the conference call. But what I like to do to summarize it, I, used, I really like to use the cheap, cheap options when trading the earnings event, not risk a lot of capital, and just give me something to where if I'm right, I can maybe possibly double my money. If I'm wrong, well, I take the shot, it goes to zero. Think of it like a scratch off, right? At the minimum, I'd say it's a $5 scratch off. At the minimum, you wanna win 10 bucks, right? You wanna double your money. You get five bucks back on a $5 scratch off, it's a scratch, pun intended. You know, it's not worth playing, right? If you don't win and I lose my full five bucks, well, that's the risk I take when trading an earnings event and every now and then hopefully you hit that big home run where you you know you get your four your five x on your money so if you lose two or three or four i don't say four let's say you lose two or three in a row you make up for it with that big winner hope it helps leave a comment and get those questions in the comment section and hopefully i do a video on that one